Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, Rams. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Welcome back, Rams, to the ones that are new here. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It's always a pleasure to have you. And shout out to the Soul Tribe. It's an honor. Thank you all so much. I truly hope you all are enjoying the content here, Soul Tribe, just as much as I am in evolving right along with me. All right. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and most importantly, I appreciate you, Rams, okay? So today's focus here, Rams, is going to be the person here that's on your mind. We're going to see how they feel towards you. What are some things that they may want to say or express themselves to you today? And most importantly, what messages do your spirit team has for you, Aries, when it comes to the person here that's on your mind, all right? So definitely be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on this platform. I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started. I also am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading realms, my email details is down below. Smash that like button and let's go ahead and dive in Aries. Wow, we have the three of cups here, water elements here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy here. Some of y'all, you may be exchanging energies here with the water sign here. Uh, this card here, as we know, it it identifies um, someone that may be returning here. This could be someone that wants to reconcile with you. Others of you all, this could be a celebration, a new opportunity for you that you're going to find yourself celebrating here. Um, this could be with family, with friends, uh, with social event going on here where you're gathering together in a union. All right. But this definitely also indicates achievement, something that you were able to establish and you're being rewarded for it as well. And again, others of you, all, this could be pertaining to your person, someone that wants to reconcile with you or reach out to you, communicate to you and to tell you how they feel with the cup here, their feelings for you. OK, let's get more insight on this person here, Rams. The Empress. I love it. So this person see you as their divine counterpart or they see you as the Empress or the Emperor here. Okay, this is Libra energy here, particularly, and Taurus energy as well. All right, if this is an emperor, this could be Aquarius or a Aries here like yourself, okay? But someone here definitely wants to reconcile here with the empress, okay? I feel like this person thinks very highly of you, Aries, all right? They definitely um, see you as someone that they would love to settle down with, move forward with here, obviously, with this Three of Cups here. They love being in your space and your energy. You make this person really happy. I feel like all the memories that they have about you is them being loved and nurtured as the Empress energy here does, okay? And they love that about you. They maybe miss those things about you, all right? But let's see what the future here has, and then we'll clarify the cards here. The Two of Wands. Yeah, we got success, plan, security, making a decision here. So someone here has finally decided to make a decision here, which is, I feel like, again, is this person here that is wanting to reconcile with you. Again, this could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Taurus, Aquarius, an Aries like yourself, or a Leo here, or a Sagittarius with the Two of Wands, okay? Wow, let's get a little bit more clarity about this person here. Let's see what other information we can find out here with clarifying the cards, Aries. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Wands here. This is Sagittarius energy here. The Knight of Wands talks about going towards your passion, going towards things that you would love to create and establish for yourself here. So some of y'all, you definitely have someone that plans on maybe traveling towards you or coming towards you with this offer here. Let's clarify the Three of Cups here for the Aries. Wow, Leos, if the reading so far is resonating for you, smash that like button, all right? That would be very much appreciated, okay? Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. 
right, we got the death card here. Even though it states that the picture is the king of pentacles, this card is the death card here, okay? So this tells me that what this person is wanting to do is the reason why they're wanting to reconcile with you, Aries, because they're not in the same space or energy or vibration that they used to be on, meaning that they went through some type of transformation, a change. They were able to release. Maybe this was a behavior pattern or something that may be called an issue, of course, with you and this person. And this is why they're reaching out to you because they want to inform you that they're in a better space and a better energy. They have put something here to an end that they are no longer um, engaging in or doing those type of things, okay? And those things could be anything that affected you, that affected the relationship and probably made a big impact on the relationship where you two had to separate from each other here. But this person here wants you to know that they're no longer involved in these type of um, behavior patterns or situations or circumstances here, okay? So let's clarify that inference energy. Wow. Okay, so let's see what else about this person here. Clarify the inference energy here, please. Clarify the inputs. Clarify the inputs energy here for me, please. Wow, we have here the cherry card, Count Sirian's energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a counselor here. So this card here indicates someone that, of course, is deciding to move on. Uh, some of you all with... I feel like you're being represented here by the Empress or the Emperor card here today. Uh, you're all about your willpower right now and taking back control over your life. And you're willing to progress and travel and do things that you feel like you are deserving of at this time. Some of y'all deciding to relocate, move to a new city, a new country, a new state. Some of y'all are definitely thinking about moving. All right. We have movement here with the chariot card, which is meaning that this person in this chariot has already made an announcement. They're already letting people know and be aware that they're deciding to move forward, move on. Um, they're just wanting a fresh start for themselves. I feel like even though this person for some y'all is coming back to offer you another opportunity and love, I don't see some of you all taking that opportunity. I see some of y'all are mainly wanting to focus more on yourselves, okay? And things that you know that, you know, you are looking forward to wanting to establish for yourself here. Yeah, we have the four of wands here. Some of y'all are removing yourself out of this relationship with this earth sign or this water sign here or this uh, fire sign here. You're no longer one to exchange energies with this person here, all right? This could be someone that you were in a relationship with or a commitment here with. Let's clarify the two of wands here. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, please. Wow, Aries, again, if the reading is resonating for you, love, smash that big fat thumbs up, all right? Show my spirit team some love for the deliverance of the message today. Clarify the two of wands, please. Why we have the two of wands here? Thank you. We have the ten of swords. Yeah, you're ready to put this situation to an end here. All right, this could have been someone, again, that portrayed you here in the past, you know, uh, someone that you felt like, again, you gave this person several chances, several opportunities. And the more of you done that, the more this person you may feel like had disappointed you, hurt you, put you in a situation where you have regrets for even for some of y'all taking this person back and still showing the same type of behavior pattern, the same type of uh, you know, just responses and approaches and you're thinking that this person is going to come back and be in a different space. But in reality, it's still the same person. It's still the same energy. It's still the same results here. So this is why I see some of y'all are deciding to put an end to this relationship here. But the good news here is, is now that you've learned these typical obstacles and challenges, now that you have evolved from situations like this, you're now realizing that this is it. The worst is over for you, Aries. No longer will you be in situations and circumstances like this because you've learned your lesson, okay? And so has this person. Rather, if you two get back together or not, this has allowed this person to change those type of behavior patterns that they normally do when they get in relationships with people, right? So I feel like you both will be able to take something from this experience or relationship together and be able to implement it and be mindful of the choices that you two make in the near future.
okay wow so let's close out here and use my famous raw tarot index cards here let's see what this person wants to say here in words okay again if you would love to book a personal reading i would love to see further outcome here i would love to use my love romance angel deck to get a super potential outcome for you and this person in the future again you can email me down below and we can book a personal reading for you realms but let's see what this person on behalf of everything here that has transpired between you two let's see what this person wants to say oh wow oh wow look at that aries <laughs> we have i want you back okay so this person is like no way are you leaving me? Okay. They definitely want another opportunity with you is why we again have that three of cups here. Because as I mentioned, they want to reconcile with you. Now they're in a different space, a different energy. Now that they don't see things the way that they've done in the past, this person just has a whole totally different perspective on everything. That this is why they're wanting to go about the relationship or go about the connection here with you in a different way with the perspective that they do now have now. Uh, this person also is realizing that the person, maybe who they were with or went back to in their past here, they realize that they don't match your energy, which we already knew that. But I feel like this person going back there, they realize that the more that they were around that person, the more that they were in that space and energy, and the more that that person maybe revealed things to them, they realize that that person wasn't the one for them. But this person is definitely wanting to come back here and reconcile with you. Um, this could be confirmation for some of y'all that was looking forward to wanting to communicate with this person. Uh, and you were looking forward to reconciling with this person. This is definitely your clarity here. Uh, others of you, are, like I mentioned, you are deciding to move forward here and go towards the things that you realize and feel like that you are deserving of. All right. Wow, Aries. So this is what we have for you. I hope this has given you the clarity and confirmation for some of you all. Again, if so, don't forget to like, subscribe. I definitely look forward to your love reading here in the future. If you would love more content, join the Patreon and the OnlyFans page. We would love to have you, Rams. And I definitely look forward to your next reading. You take care, Aries. And I wish you and this person the best, my loves. All right? Bye-bye.